And first at six, we are following rapid developments in a disturbing murder investigation in Seattle. Around 10 o'clock this morning, an 80-year-old woman was carjacked and run over in Madison Valley. This afternoon, the victim's car and a dead dog were found in South Seattle. Investigators are coming both scenes and looking for the man responsible. Come on, Jeremy Harris is live at Brighton Playfield with the newest information for us, Jeremy. Well, and this is still an active scene here at the playfield right now. Crime scene investigators are working here behind me. They are focused on a trash can that is about 25 yards from where the victim's car was recovered this afternoon. Adding to the urgency of their work is the fact that the suspect is still on the run after an 80-year-old woman was carjacked and murdered early this morning. Today, I spoke with her friends who tell me they can't believe what happened. It's terrible. It's terrible. Bentley loved her. Bentley is back safe with his mom, Susan Lindsay. He was running on Lake Washington Boulevard. He was found on the loose and obviously scared. I can't believe anybody would do this to a beloved dog walker. Susan says her 80-year-old friend had just picked him up to go walking with other dogs when the unthinkable happened. I know that she would defend her dogs if something happened. Police say the woman was driving here along MLK Way in Madison Valley. This was a carjacking that resulted in a woman getting killed. During the struggle, the woman was run over and died here. Some of the dogs she was caring for got loose. I'm just so sorry. It's left neighbors in disbelief. It just goes part and parcel for the kind of anarchy we have in Seattle now. For hours, it was an all-out search for her car and the suspect who killed her. In the mid-afternoon, police and animal control responded here to Brighton Park, finding her car and a dead dog nearby. No sign of the suspect in the area. I'm upset and I'm I'm kind of pissed off because it's this is not okay. Like, it's wrong. <laughs> an old woman, you just carjacked an old woman and ran her over. As investigators piece everything together, what is clear is this 80-year-old woman fell victim to a horrific crime. How can you murder a dog walker? How can you murder a beloved dog walker? I mean, what is wrong with you? You know, why do you do those things? An 80-year-old woman, you know, with six dogs in the car? Really, how can you do that? Now, as she just said there, there were several dogs inside of the car when the carjacking happened. We know some of them made it out of the car, and we don't know the fate of all of those dogs, but as police have confirmed there was one dog found dead here at the scene where the victim's car was found. It's really an urgent situation, though, going into this evening as police are trying to track down this person. We've asked for a description of them. What do police know about them? Do they have any video? Are there any photos of this person? And we're trying to get that information from police. If they release something this evening, we'll let you know as soon as it happens. For now, reporting live in South Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News. Right. Developing now at 6.30, the manhunt and the investigation into a deadly carjacking of an 80-year-old woman. It happened just before 10 o'clock this morning near Martin Luther King Jr. Way in East Harrison Street in Seattle. This woman was a well-known dog walker in Madison Valley. Police say she had several dogs in her car when she was carjacked and killed. Late this afternoon, Seattle police officers found her car at Brighton Playfield. Como's Ryan Sims is live tonight with the very latest. And Preston, given the magnitude and really the horrific nature of this case, it's no surprise that the major crimes unit still has a section of this park blocked off. Let me show you. We are seeing investigators come and go throughout this entire area here. It is in this park where police say that 80-year-old victim's car was dumped sometime today and making things all the more sad. One of the dogs involved in this situation was found dead in this park as well. As we have reported, the victim in this case was a dog walker this morning. She had six dogs with her when she was carjacked near MLK and Harrison. Exact details of what happened are still unclear, yet police say that 80-year-old victim was dragged and then run over with her own car. She later died. Flash forward several hours and police found that victim's car here at the Brighton Playfield. At the crime scene, though, a memorial already growing for that victim who lost her life. Como News spoke to the woman who lives directly in front of the spot where everything happened. She told us she initially thought that the victim had been involved in a hit and run. Yet when she approached that victim, she said it became clear something violent had happened. It was so senseless. Like, the whole thing, stealing the, the car, I don't know if he was trying to steal the dogs or what, but he didn't need to kill her.
for the suspect is still ongoing, and so far officers haven't given a description of that man. Obviously, if you know anything, give 911 a call immediately. We're also told that you can call Crime Stoppers and you can remain anonymous. Coming to you live from Beacon Hill tonight, Ryan Sims, Como News. Right.